Good morning, YouTube. Say, so, uh, I just wanted to make another video on how to make a uh, iClear 30 um, coil. So um, the first one I had wasn't that good quality, and I do apologize. So I got a better camera. So let's uh, let's go to work here, and we can uh, follow through the steps on how to build it. Um, the previous one I did with uh, a hemp twine. And uh, this one we're actually going to do with, um, I'm at loss for words right now, um, with silica wick. That's what it's called, silica wick. I apologize. So um, right here is your typical iClear 30 um, coil. So... You got you got your rubber uh, you got your rubber condom on the top, okay. And then if you take it out, just like this, if you flip it over on the bottom, okay, you're gonna see that middle coil, uh, middle. I, I'm gonna call it the the plug. So what you're gonna do is if you have a pick tool like this. Um, honestly, that's what I found is the best device to go ahead and pop these. So what you're going to do is just get in there and ever so gently just kind of rattle it around. And as you see, as I'm rattling it around, it will just basically come out if you take your thumb like this and then just pull it right straight out like that. Okay, that's going to be the piece. And what you do is you set this aside, okay? You're going to need this for later. So let's set that piece down right here. And then this is a previous coil that I just wrapped a little earlier. So I'm going to take it apart for you guys. So what you do is that the bottom coils go down into the bottom. And then if you're replacing this, just go ahead and pull your current coils out. So you will have this piece, okay, which we're going to reuse. Um, this is the piece that 90% of the time if you don't know how to recoil it, you're going to throw it away um, and all your replacement coils, you have been getting these. So um, set this one aside just next to the little uh, bullet you just took out of the bottom of it. And then these are the two coils that you just took out that we're actually going to build. Okay, so to build these. We're, what we're going to use is again is what I said is uh, one millimeter silica wick and just by recommendation what I've been using is I've been using two uh, one millimeter silica wicks and I've been just to be honest with you I take it fold it over like this I apologize here give me just one second here I just want to make sure we get them straight and then if you pull it and make a little loop like this, you know, just like this, so you just basically take both ends and touch them, and then this will basically make four one millimeter strands. So this is what I found the best to basically um, allow it to wick and uh, get the best flavor off of. So we're going to set this right here, and what I'm using here is your typical 32, uh, I have that wrong, it's going to be 32 gauge canthenol A wire. So what we're going to do, take this, now you're going to keep in mind you're going to build two coils off of this. So we're just going to take a, just a little length, just about yay long, and we're going to cut it. If I can find the wire cutters here. Okay, so we're going to cut it just like that. We'll set that one aside. So what I'm going to do is take the wire that I currently cut and I'm going to cut it in half once more due to the sheer fact that we're going to do two. So, all right. So we're going to take our silica wick. I'm going to bunch it up into the half strands just like we talked about. Okay. Now on the canthenol. 32 gauge wire, what I've been finding is that if you do five wraps, okay, that's if you do dual, uh, dual, uh, dual wicks like we're doing, um, what that's going to do is that's going to provide a 2.8 ohm. So what we're going to sit here and do, just do five wraps. 
one, two, three, four, and then five. Okay? So we have something just like that. I don't know if you can see it. Yep, you can, well, you can see it for the most part. So, um, what you want to do is just put them as close together as possible. Not as possible to the point where you get a hot spot. I'm sure all the rest of you have heard the horror stories of hot spots. Um, you don't want hot spots, therefore you're going to be tasting, you're going to be tasting coil and then uh, some burnt and silica wick, which you don't want. Um, we all know it doesn't taste that well. So, um, now to explain this to you, your underwire, okay, so what I mean by your underwire is that the one on the left here is going to be your negative wire and on the right is going to be your positive, okay. Now if we take our original, original base here, what we're going to do is you have two notches here, okay, you have your bigger notch right here, okay, and then you have your smaller, smaller notch which is right here, which is where your second coil set is going to go. So we're doing our first coil set. So what you're going to do is take your first silica wrap here and you're going to feed it right straight into the bottom, okay? Takes a little while to find it, so you find the middle portion so to be able to feed it down there. But um, as soon as you do, it's going to look like this. Okay, so, and then what you're going to have, I don't know if you can see that, we got the negative that's still on the outside and we got the positive that's going straight through to the bottom. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this negative wire right here and we're going to wrap it around one of these posts, okay? So that's the only way I've been able and just watching other people that have been able to find a way to do the negatives is if they actually physically touch it to the outside of the body. So what we're going to do is I like to take my positive wire and then pull it basically kinda kinda hard towards the bottom and then wrap it around like this so therefore this can prevent less wiggling as you're trying to get the post uh, trying to get the uh, wire on the post and then what we're gonna do is take this wire and then just wrap it around here so I usually do just two wraps just to make sure it's securely in there so the key is that you want to have less wire, less resistance is going to equal more burn, therefore you're going to get more flavor, more taste out of it. So what I've been finding from these builds. So what we're going to do, since we have it, as you can see, is that we have it wrapped on the outside and then we're going to cut it. Okay, and now we're going to do our second coil. So what we're going to do, take our silica wick once more. And my Camry battery is dying, I don't believe this. So we might have to do this in two parts. So we got, again, second part of our uh, 32-gauge 32, uh, 32 Cantonal A1 wire. We're going to do five wraps. Okay, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, and five. All right. So... Negative on the left, positive on the right, okay? We're going to do one check here, just to make sure that the wires are close, yet not too close. I actually, believe it or not, put six wraps in there. So, we're going to unwrap that one. And now, what we're going to do is feed this kitty corner right into the actual base of the clear miser again. So we're going to take this, drop it right down into the bottom, just with the other positive coil. Now I just want to warn you guys that when you do this, 
you want both positive wires to be as separate as possible. They cannot be touching each other. If they're touching, it's gonna it's gonna short. It's not gonna harm your device, but it's gonna short, meaning it's not gonna fire. So just uh, pay attention to that. And of course, now that I'm making the video, I can't find the middle of the hole. And slowly but surely it comes through. Okay, so what you see there, got the middle wire again through the hole. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to place this right inside the top there. And then what I like to do on this second positive one, pull as tightly as you can. Don't force it with all your might, but just pull down here is force as much as much as possible and just go kitty corner across across the bottom here of the other one so just make it so it's adjacent to it and then just make sure it's tight in there so therefore it's not going anywhere and then just take this second negative wire and then again we're just going to wrap it around a post so Okay, two wraps around the outside post. And what we're going to do, take our wire cutters, clip it. Okay. And then what I like to do is if you look inside of there, the coils, I don't even know if that's focused enough, but you just want to make sure that they're just spaced properly, which they are. Everything looks good on this build, so we did a good build. And uh, just make sure the top coils are good. And then now we'll work our way to the bottom, okay? Now on your bottom, as long as you did this properly, you'll have two wires that look like this, okay? You'll have one here, and then you'll have one here, one for each coil, okay? So what we're gonna do is keep those, again, perfectly across from each other. We're gonna take our little, I, I, I can't even, I don't have a word for this piece. It's for, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call it the, <laughs> the plunger or the bullet that sits in the bottom of that. And we're very easily just gonna push that down, okay? Making sure that both wires again are across from each other. Just push it all the way down, all right? So push it down just like it was. And then now all you have to do to be honest with you is just clip the wires. So take it, clip the wire, okay, and then just take the second wire and just clip it. And of course the second one, there it goes, okay. If you have a little excess wire, not to worry, just easily just lay it down. Just lay it down a little bit. Sometimes the pliers won't be able to get inside of there. So if you have a fine a knife pliers, it will. Um, so what you're left with is something that looks like this. So bottom's intact. We put that plunger in there. Um, you got your two coils laying in there. One, as you can see, that's on the short side and then one that's on the bottom side. So what we're gonna do is what I've been using to test with is that I actually have a spare clear miser that I've been using to test these with. Um, I have an ohm reader. However, it's not close. So, um, what we're gonna do is just screw this on here. I just wanna prove to you guys that this works. Um, And what we're going to do is just basically do what everyone's calling a dry burn. So, what we're going to do is it's 
set this one in here. Again, we're going to check the wires. And for some reason, it says I have a short. So let's check this one more time. I don't think I snipped the wires on the bottom all the way. How do you know if you have a short? If you have a uh, iTaste MVP, um, it will basically light solid green and not do anything else for you. So I'm going to clip these wires just a little bit tighter and just make sure, usually if you have a short, just make sure these wires are tucked as close as possible to the center. So. I'm kind of glad it happened on the video, so some of you guys can know it actually can short out. So, but again, it's not going to hurt the device. It uh, just a little small solid green, nothing bad happened. So, hopefully, this fixes it. And it doesn't. Okay, we'll try this one more time, guys. I'm sorry for the delay. Over the last 40 of them, I haven't had an issue building, but for some reason, now that when I decide to make a second video, it uh, decides it actually wants to uh, act up. Okay, so we actually have a fire now. So, to be completely honest with you that it does work okay we do have a glow okay and it actually is